Morning world, it's uh, 10 a.m. It's the 24th of September 2016. Sun's conjunct Jupiter. It's not exact yet. It won't be for another 36 hours, but it's well within range. Jupiter's at three degrees of Libra. The moon is at one, uh, the sun is at one degree of Libra. Uh, so sun conjunct Jupiter, what does it actually mean? Well, in a birth chart, Anybody born with the Sun conjunct Jupiter, there's, there's positives and challenges with it, bearing in mind that Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets in the sky put together. And yet, it's got no substance. You can't land on it. There's no surface. Jupiter's a gas giant. It gives out twice as much, in fact, 3.2 times as much heat and light as it actually takes in from the Sun. You can hear Jupiter on a shortwave radio, if you know where to look. And uh, with Jupiter's radio emissions actually hitting planet Earth, it's pretty demonstrable that Jupiter does have an effect, no matter how homeopathic, on individual humans. Jupiter has always been seen as the planet of growth and expansion, primarily because of its size. But it is a gas giant. It promises lots. It offers great potentials, but it often doesn't deliver that much. The positive side of Jupiter is very much around um, growth, expansion, optimism, hope, humour, faith and belief. At the neutral level, Jupiter is a planet that deals with concepts such as truth, belief, philosophy, dogma, theology. It governs travel with its connection with Sagittarius. Often a strong Jupiter in the chart indicates someone who will be a big traveller, not so much for holiday, party or beaches, as more for culture study, anthropology, ethnicity. Indeed, people with strong Jupiters, as they get older, seek to broaden their mind through academic study, not so much physical travel, which is why so many people with strong Jupiters go on to do masters or PhDs as they get into their 40s or 50s. The negative side of Jupiter is all about overindulgence, overweight, overspending, overestimation, overconfidence, overindulgence, anything that you can put the word over in front of. It's where you bite off more than you can chew or go over the top. It's larger than life situations. In English, the, the, the terminology is a storm in a teacup or a crisis made out of what is merely a drama. If things can inflate, then Jupiter's involved. And often when Jupiter passes on one's sun or one's moon, I say to them, look, go on holiday, go and treat yourself, go and eat pizza, go dancing, go clubbing, go and have fun because it's useless being at work because you'll wish you were on holiday anyway. When the sun is conjunct Jupiter, you've got the archetypal traveller extraordinaire, the person who's always looking to broaden their horizons, to expand their belief systems, but also someone who isn't that good at being moderate, and the, there is a challenging side to the Sun conjunct Jupiter. When these people realise that actually no matter what they do or how hard they try, it's never quite going to be right or big enough. They're never quite going to be as successful as they like. That's when Jupiter's expansiveness goes the other way. It is not so much depression or despair or despondency, a little bit of despair sometimes. It is much more the word melancholy. And... Um, when Jupiter, Sun conjunct Jupiter people realise that they can't ever get it quite as right as they imagine it can be, they can get very melancholic and retreat into themselves and go into the poor me syndrome. doesn't last long, but they can do this. Sun conjunct Jupiter in the sky. Well, viewed from the Earth, the Sun and Jupiter are in a straight line. Now, I'm sure scientists, mathematicians, astronomers particularly, would disagree with me. Nevertheless, statistically, I can back up what I say. Sun conjunct Jupiter does add to a sense of gravitational pull on the uh, planet, uh, and I think on the magnetic fields around the Earth, but I'm not quite sure on that one. Certainly, statistically, Geophysical phenomena is more common on a Sun conjunct Jupiter than average. 
And I would expect one or two, uh, um, I don't know, minor volcanoes, earthquakes, storms, etc., etc., to be taking place over the coming 72 hours. Um, but this Sun conjunct Jupiter is not difficultly aspected, apart from the ongoing square to Mars. That's a bit feisty. This Mars square Jupiter that's coming up over the coming week and a half, I've seen it in a lot of clients' charts. And a lot of people over the coming week, week and a half, are going to be going through periods where moderation is going to be a foreign land. Where the hardest thing to do will be to take the middle path. Uh, and, and that's going to be the biggest challenge, I suspect, over the coming week and a half. Moderation, balance, taking the middle path by choice. Be very easy to go to extremes. OK, that's the Sun conjunct Jupiter and the upcoming square to Mars, of which more over the coming few days. All right, world, take care. Speak to you later. Bye.